Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy X and today we're doing that The Promised Neverland Season 2 Episode 10 Live Reaction. Last we left off, oh my god, it was it's a really good episode up until the end, I think. <laughs> like, you know, they talked Norman down, Norman talked the squad down, everything seemed all nice and dandy, even like, you know, they had the demon girl and the guy with them and you know everything just seemed cool and shit like, hey we're about to go to the facility also they got the cure for everybody's sickness everything's good and great until fucking Vincent for some reason decides to call up and snitch on everybody so I have no idea why he did that um but we're gonna find out today's episode I'm assuming but let's go ahead and get started remember though guys for more The Promise Neverland live reaction slash reviews, and make sure you have the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. I already know I'm trying to get to that 40k as soon as possible. So if you're new here or you come here often, hit that subscribe button. Join your boy. But alright, about to begin this, guys, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's get it. <clears throat> okay, God damn, need some damn oil on my damn chair. 40k. Mm. They've lost touch with reality. I don't want to die in vain. That's this. I I was about to say. Wait, was she a grandma before? Or did she just take that position? I, I don't remember them calling her grandma and Isabel. That was Mother Isabel, so like she in a new position now? Wow. That's full of feel. <laughs> she got them. Damn, boys is getting picked up like that, huh, Phil? <laughs> Back to the damn cave, huh? Oh yeah, we making that weaponry. Oh, we making what? Gas grenades over there? What's, what is that? That's what friends do. They get you in trouble. Remember that, folks. All the time. God, it's like he just, he seems like a good guy. I mean, technically, I guess he is. He just wants to eat some human flesh. <laughs> You know, I would have been like, hey, let me talk to you for a second. You know I know uh, what happens to us when we get dressed, right? And you think I'm about to get dressed? I'm about to stay in my motherfucking PJs. What <laughs> but the hell? Stay in my damn PJs. Shit. Oh, 
man, they got them damn hot air balloons. Man, they made them. Did they make all these hot air balloons in one day? Can't be. I don't believe that shit. I don't. I hope I, they don't tell you no time frame, but I guess it's fine. Look at how happy it is with her derp ass face. She would look so damn happy. <laughs> Yo, look at his eyes. Like, these children, what the hell? Damn, they got the demons ready, huh? Mm, mm, mm. Those poor kids, they're about to get rosed up. Oh, Lord. Well, now my question is, are they in the blimps right now? I don't, I don't see anybody, so I don't think they are. Although, if that's the case, I don't think that's how blimps um, are operated. I don't think you can just, well, I guess you could, but that would be very hard for you to, like, go in one spot. It's real interesting. I, I don't know. I don't. I gotta see this shit. <laughs> Were they thrown out? Oh, they have explosions and all of them. Okay. Oh yeah, we in this shit now, buddy. It's woe time. The only one that can actually fight toe to toe with these fools. Oh, well, I guess they about to go ham too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so like three of the blimps were like decoys. Eh, makes sense, I guess. Mm, actually, no. I'm a, <laughs> I don't know if you... I've never been on a hot air balloon, but I don't know if you can like just let it go up in the air and it just goes in the direction you want it to go. And that don't make sense to me, but... Wow. Right, right now. <laughs> Boy, so I'm about to give me a damn demon real quick. Can they not breathe in oxygen or something? <laughs> oh shit. Damn, look at them. They just, then they're making them damn clothes for the kids, huh? <laughs> what will Phil do? Oh, it's the kids. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. How the hell did they get in there like that? Oh, I guess they did just come from the room to get their clothes or whatever. <laughs> Come on, Phil. Come on, Phil. Once again, you're in the spotlight. Go ahead and get them tears. Wipe them tears. Let's go. We ain't got time for this. <laughs> mm, mm, mm.
let's begin our attack. I mean, technically, it already. <laughs> I will say... I will say, these demons that are guarding this location, they don't seem too threatening so far. Like, they seem like fucking stormtroopers or something. Mm, mm, mm. The hell was she smiling about? Hmm, would be crazy if Isabel's actually a good guy. Like, she's like, I change sides. Don't worry, guys. This boy Vincent got some good hacker skills, man. Wow, I guess that would be the only way to get kids to actually listen. Well, damn, that was quick. I mean, shit. God damn, they were thought. See what I'm saying? Like these, de unless they're extremely powerful, these demons seem like mad trash right now. Like I, I need to see like some kind of super demon or something. Like this is crazy. Damn, I got that nice little spot place. Oh, look at this. It's Phil. It's Phil. Go ahead, give me a hug. You got time. You got a little, just a little time. The man that saved the day in season one. Just go ahead. She drew a bow down and everything. Left this fool behind. Oh, it's Phil. Oh, that's <laughs> all oh, it's Phil. Mm, mm, mm. Damn, everybody went a different way and shit. I guess they were really playing tag. <laughs> everybody went the opposite direction. Damn, nah, they literally had everybody dressed up to go. Shit. Uh oh. Oh shit. Ooh, <laughs> the mall is packing heat, huh? I mean, I don't think they would just obliterate all the kids. Like, that's the food. I don't think that's what would happen, but... <laughs> ah, I got the AK-74U. <laughs> don't fuck with me. <laughs> Damn. 
Come on, man. Somebody's got to be there to save the day. Is that Demon there? Or is he... Where did he go? Uh, I forgot his damn name is. Damn, she looking like she about to just uh, bust a cap in all of them, huh? <laughs> oh shit! Yo, was I right? Yo, please shoot this nigga. I can't. I gotta see this at least. Don't misunderstand. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Amazing. The fuck was that? Check a middle. <laughs> what more will he do? Them boys coming in like they're from uh, Alice in Wonderland. Look like them card knights or something. Well, why has nobody shot this man yet? <laughs> Yo! The, are those the demons from that damn town? Civilians. And so the civilians rise up! Hmm, old man came through. Okay. This is wild. This is some wild shit here. Oh, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> Don't even show it. Damn, they about to bust a cap in there. <laughs> we don't need the children anymore. Hmm. The evil one. Dang, I mean, that's everybody. Oh, shit! Well. So that makes me wonder, which I guess because it's in your bloodstream, but like if the demons have children, will the blood transfer over to die? I'd assume so, but. I mean, he might as well just go ahead and give up at this point. Like, what more can... Like, what's left? Like, they've won! Like, what is left? I don't want Mm. It's 
some strong words right there. Hmm. Yeah, you won't get that power no more, boy. I feel like you're about to do something stupid. Giving this man the option. Oh, Alright, so, man, this was a very good episode, I gotta admit. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where we're going from here because how this episode ended, I, I got two options, I'll, I'll wait to the end, but basically, the whole time, this was their plan, you know, they left off on that cliffhanger last episode, but really, they planned for that, like, they were like, you know, hey, Vincent, act like you're betraying us type of shit, so, eh, I guess, should've saw that coming, right, but it's cool, their plan was actually really well thought out, I'm not gonna lie, Although, like I said, I did have like a nitpick with that whole blimp thing because, like I said, I don't necessarily know if you can like, like, I don't know if you can like, I know you can like, you know, shoot some hot air into it, but like, how did they direct it, what I'm saying, I guess the wind, right? But I didn't know like you could just like direct it in the right direction that good, but you know, they had like three blimps that were empty, well, empty with people, but they had bombs in them, blew up in different areas. Oh no, actually, I'll take that back because it looked like from the explosions, it looked like the blimps were going in different directions because like the explosions were in different parts of that circle. So I'll take that back a little bit. Still, it's a little wild, but <laughs> um, but you know, you had uh, Norman's gang of people, they were going ham, we didn't get to see them necessarily, probably got to see the aftermath. As well as Obo with that long ass demon with the long sword, he went ham too. Like I was saying, this episode though, and that's another, like, that's the only thing I can say was bad with this episode. These demons that were guarding this location, they didn't necessarily seem threatening. Like, they just, ah, they, they like fucking stormtroopers or something, you know, like, easily beat. Like, they, they were like, huh? Who the kids over there? You know, like they're getting beat by some stupid ass shit, and like the, <laughs> the one scene where they knocked the damn oxygen off. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, like these demons just seemed very like season one, and at the beginning of this season, the demons seemed threatening, right? But it got to a point where we are now. Where these demons just like the, at least these right here, the, the guards, they just know. I look like a fucking regular ass human could go up in there and just storm the place. So yeah, uh, that's the only problem I had. But besides that, like I said, very thought out plan. You know, uh, we got to see Phil again finally. Boy, holding it in. You know, he ironically it didn't seem like he told any of them kids about like anything, cause like you know they were like, yeah, everybody put on your suits and clothes. We're about to take all of you. And Phil was like, oh, he's the only one like panicking. Oh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> and you know, luckily though, Eminem. That's the day. You know, they got there. That was another thing. I'm nitpicking here, but like how long it took them to make these blimps. I don't know how I don't know how many days have passed I, I, From what it seemed like it seemed like it's one day, but I might be wrong, but Jesus Christ they made like six blimps in one anyway, so You know they get in the facility and whatnot and You know everything is going good and the plan works You know they make all the kids play tag and shit, you know kids will be kids and they are running off and then you know left the the mom behind and shit you know, you got Vincent hacking everything out of these super hacker or something. He's like, I'm in. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you got the audio. <laughs> you know, I'm like, God damn. So, uh, eventually, everybody reaches a point where they're like in a little circle, which I'm guessing is like a little elevator spot. And all the kids are there and everybody. And it's like, yeah, let's go, guys. What? <laughs> and, you know, that's when uh, Isabel... And uh, Peter, they're there, and the, the rest of the moms, they're around. And I just noticed this episode, I don't know if last episode they call her that, but I just noticed that she's called Grandmother Isabel now. Um, so I guess she got a promotion, right? So, I, I don't know if it was just this episode, I don't remember them saying that last episode, I might be wrong, but that was cool, I guess. But... I saw that shit coming a mile away, like, cause early in the episode, Isabel, 
I forgot what happened, but she smirked. And I was like, why is she smirking? Um, and I was like, oh, she's about to switch sides. And I, I saw that shit coming a mile away, but it was still cool. Uh, you know, uh, cause you know, Peter was talking his hot shit. And then all of a sudden it was like, nah, you know what, nah, boy. <laughs> and you know, uh, apparently I guess Victor hacked their, um, bombs in their chest so their, the bombs wouldn't go off anymore so all of them are free basically and you know still Peter's talking that mad shit he's all like you know you want to change something that's been around for thousands of years what are you doing and you know Emma she's saying her hot shit too she's all like you know I'm tired of living in a world where people gotta be sacrificed to live you know <laughs> shit like that and um you know, you got the old grandpa demon that comes in, and because at first he's all like, "Hi, you fools! We got reinforcements coming!" <laughs> but turns out, uh, the the girl she ends up giving all of the blood, like she gives everybody blood that was a civilian, I guess, back in that town. So they come and storm the place as well. And then you know, the grandpa demon, he's all like, "We no longer need the food of humans. Like we no longer need humans. We got the blood in our system now." And then, you know, he's like, "I'm tired of living day by." Day. And it makes sense, you know, because I don't know, you humans to them might taste delicious, but you know, it was like you needed to have that money because you know, you got to get it and you might not have that money. So for some demons, that's when they start degenerating. So that's what he was saying. Like, I'm tired of living day by day, uh, not knowing if I'll be able to have human and, or, you know, I'm going to degenerate. My family's going to degenerate, but now we all got blood, so we're all good. So that's cool. And, you know, Emma, she decides to walk up to him because he's all defeated now because he tried to hit that. <laughs> Wait, matter of fact, <laughs> I got to use this real quick. I got the, I got the damn Esker. Esker, which should look just like the damn detonator, too. <laughs> Them Esker Warrior to track it right here. Uh, if you want that discount in the description box, is in the description. I mean, that discount for yourself or wallet is in the description box. A little shameless plug, but it makes it. The boy is like, you fools! <laughs> like, try to, <laughs> try to detonate all the moms. You fools! But she shot the detonator, and you know that's when she was like, eh. I mean, we already got it. It was really no point of her shooting him, but. I mean, shooting the detonator if the, uh, the detonators were disarmed anyway, but I guess she just wanted to make a dramatic effect. And she's like, no, nah, we're all, it's all, it's like, the bombs don't work anymore, guys, sorry. And, you know, he's just defeated at this point. He's on his knees. <laughs> and Emma walks up at the end, of course. Of course, Emma had to do it. And, you know, she's like, come with us. Be free. <laughs> Be free. So... I don't know how many more episodes are left. I'm assuming two episodes, because I kind of consider this and Dr. Stone to be in that same frame of episodes, right? I assume two more episodes, and I might be wrong. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. But I don't see what more can happen at this point. Like, of course, I can see an episode maybe like when they make it to the human world and we get to see what the human world is like, right? That's the only thing I can see at this point unless, like, some bullshit is about to happen to where, I don't know, like I was saying, I, I gotta see, like, some kind of big-ass dramatic fight at the end. So, I don't know. Maybe he has... <laughs> This would be some Resident Evil shit that I'm thinking of in my mind. But the only thing else I can see at this point is if, like, he has, like, some kind of drug <laughs> that he can inject himself and transform into a demon. That's the only thing I'm thinking in my mind. Because there's nothing left. Like, either, either that has to happen or he just has to join them. Like, oh, thank you, Emma, for letting me join you now. Like, I, I, I've given up my evil ways. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. So, one of the two. One of the two, but like I said, that I don't see what more can happen now. Like every, all the demons have the the, the evil blood in their system, so they're good. Um, all the, the evil demons, damn, they look like they're fucking dead. Like the guy went in there, the, the, the damn um, security room, and killed some demons probably because all you heard on the speakers. Ah! So what is left? That, that's my question. What is left? So I feel like there's got to be like some like one more threat. I think there's got to be like one more threat. I don't necessarily know what that could be, but uh, yeah, I feel like there's gonna be one more threat and then we're gonna finally get like the last episode to where they make it to the human world because I'm at a loss of what more can happen. Now, I do know, which like I said, I haven't read the manga, but I do know like y'all tell me in every one of my videos that they skipped a whole bunch of shit and this is basically end game. So, what? 
more can happen is what I'm getting at here. And is this true? Like, like basically what I want to know is do y'all believe, for the, okay, for the manga readers out there without spoiling anything, do y'all believe season two is the last season or do you think there'll be a season three? Like, is this really end game or is there more after this? And without spoiling me, because, you know, I'm still interested here, of course, because I haven't read the manga, <laughs> but I'm going to get to it after this is over, but... Mm. But that's all guys. Remember for more to promise Neverland live reaction slash reviews make sure the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel Try to get to that 40k as y'all already know so go ahead and hit that subscribe button Hit the bell to get up when I drop my videos follow me on Instagram Twitter my Facebook game page and the discord All them in the description box below if you like the video guys like the video comment Let us your favorite of the episode was and as always guys it's been your boy X and I'm out Deuces